Alright everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and oh my god, I forgot. There we go, alright, so where we last left off, we were about ready to do some breeding. Sh uh, Shadow himself is moving right along here in his second evolution process, and I have my game volume too loud, as always, at the beginning of every session. Uh, that is an issue, so I believe we were about to take Cyborg and Alucard, and they are now going to a oh, freaking course, okay. Well, what can I do while Alucard naps? Probably cut right away, as soon as this whole thing started. There's nobody I want to move around from garden to garden. There's nobody I want to bring one place and move another. Um, so I guess just to kind of lay down the foundation for what's about to happen one more time. Uh, Cyborg and Alucard, gonna breed. It's not impossible. It's not likely, but it, there's a chance that we manage to pull a Chow that can be an LS Chow. He won't come out an LS Chow, but there's a managed, there's a small chance we can pull out a Chow from this breed session that can have the potential to be an LS Chow after reincarnating once. <clears throat> and that would be ideal, but in order for that to happen, we would have to have it have, have to have it have uh, the S stats, the two S stats from Alucard, and the two S stats from 009. It's been a little while since I played. So, at this time, I only know that Alucard has an S in swimming, not swimming, flying, and Cyborg has an S in power. However, I do not know what their other two S stats are, I just know that none of them have an S in stamina. So, what it would take is, we would have to have an S in everything from the child that comes out of Alucard and Cyborg, except for stamina. Stamina would have to be an A, and then from there, uh, we could raise the child, and it would work, and everyone would be happy, and we would have that all S child that we've been dreaming about forever, so... That's it. However, the likelihood is that we'll have a child that comes out, and its stamina stat can be whatever. Its stamina stat won't matter. Instead, what'll happen is it'll have an S stat in everything. Like stamina excluded, it'll have an S stat in everything except for one other stat, and that other stat is okay to have an A, but we're going to want at least three S's uh, and one A. Once again, stamina excluded, and then after that, we go breed... Uh, What's his name again? Oh yeah, we go breed this baby chow with Viagra from oh so long ago in the first batch of eggs we bought. Because he has an essence stamina. And then that chow will be slightly more likely to give us our less chow. It would still take a lot of tries probably. Because it would have to get every stat except stamina from Viagra. So that's still an unlikely combination, but it is something I'm willing to do. So which this stream is going to be a lot of. Uh, what I'm going to do when Alucard wakes up is I'm going to show you guys, like I've done before when we do breeding, I'm going to show you guys the first couple... The first couple uh, sets of breeding, the first couple times I breed the egg and it comes out. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, they'll probably be failures. It's highly likely they'll be failures. Then I'll cut. And when I cut, I have no idea how long I'm going to play after I cut. It could take two or three tries. It could take legitimately two or three hours before I get a chow that's deemed acceptable. Uh, to move on in our whole S chow thing. Ex I don't know what you want expedition with. So I could be filming a lot and not have a lot of parts for you guys, and if that's the case, I'm sorry. Shadows are weird in this game. Not Shadow like the Chow Shadow or my character Shadow, but Shadows is in the actual Shadows. Because Soul is clearly under this bridge. However, his Shadow shows atop it. A little strange, but I plan on Alucard waking up any moment, and we will be back when he does. Oh hey look, Alucard woke up. And he loves us, isn't that adorable? So, we need heart fruits, and it probably would have been smart for me to check for heart fruits as soon as I got to the garden. That way, if they weren't there, some time would pass. Because now it's possible that there were heart fruits when I got to the garden, but time passed, so they went away. Slight possibility, I don't find it likely. Also, I might not even have the rings for heart fruits right now. I have no rings. Wow. And there are heart fruits here. Of course, there are heart fruits here. Okay, well, I gotta go grind up for rings then. Wow, look at me go. Kicking this session off, right? Uh, I'm gonna go do City Escape on the find the lost chow thing until I have a bunch of rings and I will BRB and hopefully heart fruits haven't gone away yet. Okay, so I'm back with enough rings to get me by and hopefully there is a heart fruit uh, still eagerly awaiting us in the black market. I would be super bummed if they had one and then got rid of it between the time of me doing one level, but it looks okay, it's still here. They did change up their stuff a bit because there was definitely a hero fruit here before, I believe, or no, there was a chow fruit nearby. But luckily for us, they still have heart fruit. We only need to, like I said, I barely have enough rings to get me by for now. I really, really, like, desperately need to, uh, 
come back sometime and get a bunch of extra emblems and stuff that'll replenish my rings and get us more cool stuff from the black market. I even, wow, Shadow's face. That's something that I need to do one of these days. I need to take like a week where I don't live stream and don't upload anything to YouTube and just finish the Chow Garden playthrough and then just upload the Chow Garden playthrough daily until it's all taken care of. But, I think he's dancing. He's pretty happy about it. I'm not gonna interrupt him. However, Cyborg here. All right, I hope you guys are ready. It's it's go time. Where are you going? Oh, you little munchkin. Wow, just immediately throwing the love behind your head. I see how you are, Cyborg. Now, believe it or not, uh, you're gonna have to eat this, whether you want to or not. I'll feed it to you myself. I thought I was gonna throw him for a second. I'm glad I didn't. All of it. Now, Alucard, he's probably gonna eat his all in one go because he was totally napping earlier when I fed uh, the lot. But I was, Cyborg pretty much just ate an entire nut, so it might take him a second. And they are called nuts. They're not fruits. They're nuts. Some of them are fruits. There's certain fruits. But they're referred to as nuts. The uh, regular ones are, at least. This is a heart fruit, though. It has a name, it has a name heart fruit, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me, kids. Hey, they both finished at the same time, and they are not close enough. Which is good for us that they're not close enough because now I have the chance to save my game. And you know the drill, if this doesn't work, I can't exit game. I have to turn my PlayStation all the way off, which luckily for me, uh, it hiccups my recording a second. So my voice and uh, my voice and the game get really, really offset from each other. And it's super fun to play around with and play around with in editing when this is over. But I mean, yeah, I'm complaining, but don't feel bad for me. It's okay. The upside is I get to play Chow Garden all the time. So that's fun. Um. All right, we're gonna take old Alley Bear here, and they're gonna have themselves an ocean baby. I wonder if I can make Cyborg jump backwards into the water when he celebrates. That'd be cool, right? Yeah, he's totally gonna have to jump backwards into the water. All right, hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. And he's drowning. All right, the the proud father goes down. Anyways, one, two, three, four, and. Four. Five, and we'll do six for good measure. Now hatch, tiny child. And be what we want you to be, or we won't accept you. Oh, that's cool. He is a dark colored two-tone chow. That's why he looks different. He's not like the bright and happy things that we're used to. <clears throat> he must have got a little gray, I guess. Because he's not a gray two-tone chow. A gray two-tone chow would look like him, but he would have yellow feet and a yellow head like this one has. He must have gotten darker. Maybe because both the chow were dark type chow. I don't think that's it, though. I think it's just because he like a little gray rubbed off on him. So he's, he's just simply a darker shade. But that's kind of cool. I hope he's the chow we stick with. He would be cool. Because remember, one, he's two-tone. I would much rather him keep the two-tone trait than the gray trait. Because regular gray chow don't look very good. Um... But, let me make sure my recording's back up. Kind of important on that one. Yeah, okay, we're going again. Oh, it's probably not going to be, but please be the child I want. So, again, we're looking for either three S's and an A, or an A. Three S's and an A stat. None of those can be in stamina. Or we're looking for four S's and an A stat in stamina. I didn't need to see if he was okay. He looks big already. He's almost as big as the doctor. Oh, my God! Well, here is the dilemma we're at now. And it's a dilemma that I'm willing to take, because what are the odds of the first try? I, for those of you who don't know, I have done Chow Gardens in the past, right? And I've tried to get all S Chows in the past, okay? I have gotten to this point at least twice before, and for hours on end tried to get my Chow that was going to have the potential to be an all S Chow, but he never became one. So I just gave up. That's happened to me twice. And I mean like I would at least like three, four, five hours. I would have different sessions of me getting on for hours at a time trying to breed this chow and it wouldn't work. There are two things that can happen here. Both of which involve me accepting this chow. I could deny him, but I would be throwing away pure gold. Because here's the problem. He has a B in stamina, not an A. This can be worked around. So the way that the Chow, uh, Chaos Chow, and you guys can describe this to me if you've ever gotten Chaos Chow yourself in Chow Garden, uh, for those of you watching. Um, 
Chaos Chow have to reincarnate two times or more is the way that it's been described to me. So what this means is that we can reincarnate him twice and uh, make him an all S Chow. So like on his first carnet, well, no. No, he's got it. He's got it, my math's wrong. So a Chow has to reincarnate twice to become a Chaos Chow. So uh, on this lifespan that he's going through now, he'll get an A in stamina, because we'll make him a stamina Chow. On his second lifespan that he'll go through, because he'll reincarnate for the first time, and then on his second life, uh, we will give him an S in stamina, because he'll go from a B to an A in this one. Second life, for first reincarnation, he'll go from an A to an S. And then in his second reincarnation, which would be his third life, he will become a Chaos Chow. We have our Chaos Chow. I... <laughs> This is nuts. We have an all S chow in a minute. And by a minute, I mean hours upon hours that will probably be off camera, but we we did it. You have no idea how absolute little faith I had in that happening on the first try. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if I like the dark shade. I mean, I was impressed with it when I saw it at first, but as far as having our chaos, chaos chow be the one with the dark shade, um, it's kind of iffy, but we're keeping him. We, we're gonna have an all- I've never had, like I just told you the story, I've never had an all shell in my life, but we're gonna have an all shell. This is nuts. On the first fucking try, the odds, the odds are so slim. It takes his parents' stats, it takes his parents' stats from before they evolved and after they evolved. We needed both parents' stats from after they evolved, we got that. Uh, it factors in the parents' stats before they evolved as an option, so A in every single one of those categories pretty much was an option. It takes the grandparents' final stats, so A's and B's and D's and shit grades from that before we're all an option. This is absolutely nuts. Lucky name is summoning the powers to be. How about the name Kaku? Fuck no. No, I don't want a different name, damn it. Alright, I... This is insane. Um... Wow, I don't even know what to name him. Here I am drawing a blank. We're gonna call you our little... Jeebus. Because he's gonna be our savior. I like the name Jeebus, yes. Wow, okay, so I totally planned on me filming for like four hours and getting maybe one part out. Wow, Shadow's face still. It still creeps me out when it's that big. So, oh my god. Well, where do we go from here? I thought I was going to have a lot of time to plan this out and think about what I wanted. The good news is I have to do zero training on him. Wow, wow, this is nuts. I'm still a little mind blown about it. I have to do zero training on him. Um, because he's, I just need stamina. So I am legitimately probably not going to give him a single chaos drive until he actually becomes an all S chow. So I'll just keep giving him... Oh, sorry, my camera's glitching out. Anyways, I'll just keep giving him nuts and then he'll evolve and then I'll make sure I pet him and make sure that he's happy and then we'll wait for him to reincarnate, which we, again, haven't even seen a single chow reincarnate once. So I think what we're gonna do... Thud is drawing. I gotta see what his drawing is. You can hear the crayons hitting the rock that he's drawing on. Oh, wait, that's the pizza drawing we've seen before. All right, good drawing, little Thud. So, I believe we are gonna deem Thud no longer necessary to remain topside. Someone pointed out in one of the playthroughs that it, it actually is like you're banishing, like when I take the chows down here, it actually is like I'm banishing them to hell because these are the chow that are never gonna be heard from again. This is where I put Chow when I don't want to mess with him anymore, which is kind of upsetting because Hell Garden's pretty, pretty cool place, or excuse me, Dark Garden. Pretty alright place. Um, I think I'm also going to grab Stamina because we don't need Stamina anymore now that this Chow can pull it off. This is absolutely insane. Alright, let me go grab Stamina and then let me look at something for just a second. Wow, look at him go. Is Stamina the other one? Oh, there he is. Viagra. I call him Stamina. But Viagra. 
Um, we didn't actually breed him. He was intended to be our stamina S stat. But, and it's not over. It's not over. Don't you dare for a second think that it's over. Um, but I have to cut for a split second. This is probably the end of the part, so leave a like for Chow Garden. I will be back uh, in the next part. Um, I have to take a break in my session for a minute, so when I come back again, it might seem like a whole new session, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. And it'll also give me a little bit to, a little chance to think about what's going on. Maybe get those, uh, maybe get those upgraded Chow em emblems and things like that, like I was shooting for. But, yeah, this is nuts. Can I, can, is this still, aha. Alright, so we will BRB uh, in the next part probably. See you guys then.